going to deliver a speech at the closing meeting. Dear deputies, fourth session of the 12th National People's Congress, with joint efforts by all deputies, has completed successfully all planned tasks. The meeting has given full play to democracy, strictly adhered to law, maintained a good spirit in the meeting. It was a successful, uh, it was a democratic, united, practical, and endeavoring meeting. During the meeting, the deputies have been entrusted by people from all ethnic groups perform their duties given by the Constitution and other laws. They have focused on the overall situation, discussed important issues. They have been practical and sought real results and draw on wisdom of the masses, built consensus, made all the results of the meeting fully manifest the unity of the party's values and people's will. Another key result of the meeting is that the meeting has deliberated and passed the 13th five-year plan of national economic and social development. The 13th five-year plan fully carried out the spirit of the 18th National Congress of the Party and the 18th Central Committee's third plenum fourth plenum and fifth plenum. With guidance of the Deng Xiaoping theory, the important theories of the three represent and scientific concept, development concept, and deeply implement, implemented the spirit of the important speeches made by General Secretary Xi Jinping, draw on this wisdom of the whole party and all ethnic groups, pictured a grand picture of the next five years of national development. It is a, an important guiding document in the last stage in building a full, fully moderately prosperous society. Under the firm leadership of the Central Committee of the CPC with Comrade Xi Jinping as the General Secretary, we must fully implement the 13 five-year plan, give top priority to development, firmly uphold and implement the new development concepts of innovation, coordination, green development, opening up and sharing. Coordinate and push forward economic construction, the construction of politics, of culture, social development, and equal civilization and the construction of the party. To ensure that we build a moderately prosperous society on time and to realize the goals of our second century and laid a later solid foundation to realize the grand dream to rejuvenate the Chinese nation. This meeting has deliberated and passed the government work report and other reports and laid out plans for various kinds of works for the state in 2016. We must carefully carry out the spirit of this meeting. We must adhere to the five-in-one overall layout and the four comprehensive strategic layout, adhere to the new concept in guiding our development. We must adhere to the development thoughts that put people at the center and push forward for the wholesome improvement of social productivity to implement well the work layout of this meeting, the goal and the policies laid out in the meeting, and work hard to achieve a, a good beginning in the last stage in building a fully moderate, prosperous society, moderately prosperous society. Now, the charity law passed in this meeting is a basic and comprehensive law in building a charity system in China. It laid a solid legal foundation in promoting socialist core values and traditional Chinese values 
and also the development of the cause of charity in China. We must carefully study and promote, propagate the charity law. We must do good work in preparation before the law came into effect. We must use the opportunity in implementing the charity law to bring to a new level of our charity work development and legal construction in terms of charity. The meeting has proceeded smoothly and successfully. It was a result joint of the joint efforts of the Central Committee of the Party and all deputies and delegates. The meeting secretariat has done a lot of work in organizing the meeting and providing services. All staff has worked hard. Central state organs, the Beijing government and irrelevant parties and the people have given full support and active assistance. Hereby, on behalf of the Presidium of the meeting, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to them. Deputies, since the 18th National Congress of the Party, the Central Committee of the Party with Comrade Xi Jinping as the General Sec Secretary has adhered and developed uh, socialism with Chinese, Chinese characteristics. We have been critical, innovative, and deepened the laws of governing rules of the party and the laws in developing socialism and laws in human social development. We have formed new thoughts, new ideas and strategies in governing the country. To deepen reform and opening up under new historical cir circumstances, it provided scientific guiding principles and direction in pushing forward socialist modernization. In the new phase of our endeavor, we must substantially increase our consciousness of politics of the overall picture of the core leadership and in keeping up with the core central leadership and fully implement the new ideas, thoughts and strategies of the Central Committee of the Party with Comrade Xi Jinping as the General Secretary and further explore new fronts and levels of development to realize the 13-5 year plan and achieve the great success of the last stage in developing a moderately prosperous society. All levels of uh, People's Congresses and its standing committees must actively presume, uh, resume their duties and work hard. We must adhere to the party's leadership, democracy and the rule of law and achieve a unity of the three. We must perform our duties and keeping up with the party and the state's overall work situation. We must actively start our work um, to use good law to push forward development, to use good governance, ensure proper oversight, effective oversight, and ensure the employment of the decisions of the Central Committee of the Party laws and regulations and ensure that the 13 five-year plan, the goals are fully implemented. The deputies are from the people. They represent the people. They voice people's voices and they perform the duties for the people. It is an important characteristic and advantage of the system of China's National People's Congress. In the great cause of building a moderately prosperous society, Deputies from all levels must enhance their sense of responsibility and sense of mission. They must faithfully represent the interest and will of the people. They must execute the state power according to the law, stay in close contact with the people, consciously accept supervision, draw on positive energy 
to provide wisdom and strength in working hard to achieve the 13 five-year plan. Deputies, the blueprint of the development has been drawn and the trumpet in, for marching forward has been played. Let us rally even more closely around the Central Committee of the Party with Comrade Xi Jinping as the General Secretary. Hold up high the level, the banner of socialism with Chinese characteristics, with one heart and one mind and forging ahead. Work hard for the grand victory in the last stage in building a moderately, moderately prosperous society. Deputies, the fourth session of 12th National People's Congress, all proceedings have been completed. Please rise. For the national anthem. Now, I'm pleased to announce that the fourth session of the 12th National People's Congress of the People's Republic of China is now closed. <laughs>